Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new pets coming this episode 6. There are 10 new pets coming in the next episode, which can be caught in the wild or obtained via pet fusion. We'll explore where to get the new pets, the taming items or pet fusion materials needed, and their respective skills. Note that this does not include the pets which are obtained from the 6 vs 6 PvP competitive mode, Arena Shop, and Tanatus Tower. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, let's start with the 1-star pets. There are 3 1-star pets which can be caught in the field. First up, we have the marina found in the underwater cave. It is a fish race and water element. To catch it, we'll need a single-cell taming item which can be bought using 120 colorful shells. Gift it 2 times and use one for catching for a 100% catch rate. Unlocking this pet gives plus 1 death. Its offensive skill deals water element magic damage to a target. Having this pet by your side will increase your water damage reduction by 5% and physical defense by 40 points. Sending Marina to Pet Adventure will increase the chance of getting both normal and quality materials by 6 each at max skill level. As for a pet labor, it is best to assign it to the Cuisine Association for a plus 10% working efficiency. This is how a marina with level 10 intimacy will look like. Up next, we have the breeze found in the light halls and field. It is a formless race and wind element. To catch it, we'll need a withered grass taming item which can be bought using 180 colorful shells. Gift it 4 times and use one for catching for a 100% catch rate. Unlocking this pet gives plus 20 max HP. Its offensive skill Cyclone deals wind element physical damage that has a 30% chance to reduce the target's movement speed for 3 seconds. Having this pet by your side will increase your wind damage reduction by 5% and flee by 10 points. Sending Breeze to Pet Adventure will increase the chance to receive an extra rare chest by 10% at max skill level. This pet is also needed for the Light Halls and Pet Adventure to receive a rare chest. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the cooking center for plus 30% working efficiency. This is how Breeze with level 10 intimacy will look like. Last for the 1 star pets is the Mecha Hound found in the Biolab Dungeon 2nd floor. It is a formless race and dark element. To catch it, we'll need a broken parts taming item which can be obtained from the Endless Tower. Gift it 4 times and use one for catching for a 100% success rate. Unlocking this pet gives plus 2 magic attack and plus 20 max HP. Its offensive skill, Infrared Ray, deals magic damage which has a 30% chance to inflict a bleeding effect to a target for 3 seconds. Having this pet by your side will increase your magic attack by 60 points but will reduce your max HP by 5%. In addition, you'll have a 5% SP cost reduction when using skills. I think this will be a good pet for warlocks and sorcerers to boost your magic attack when farming or fighting against boss monsters. Sending Mecha Hound to Pet Adventure will increase the chance of getting normal materials by 11 at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the item shop for plus 30% working efficiency. This is how a Mecha Hound with level 10 intimacy will look like. Note that the names of the taming items and pet skills may be translated differently once the patch is released in the Sea and Global servers. Alright, now let's go to the new 2-star pets. These pets can be obtained via Pet Fusion wherein you need to combine 1-star pets of Intimacy Level 10 to unlock them. First up, we have the Minoris, which is a Brute Race and Fire Element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are Level 10 Desert Wolf Baby, Level 10 Isis, and a Level 10 Marina. Unlocking this pet gives plus 40 max HP. Its offensive skill called Crack Ground deals Earth Element physical damage to the target and its surrounding units. Having this pet by your side will increase your damage to Brute Race monsters by 3% and physical attack by 40 points at max skill level. Sending Minoris to Pet Adventure will decrease the battle time in Adventure by 10% at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the guild for a plus 40% working efficiency. This is how a Minoris with level 10 intimacy will look like. Next, we have the Sky Petite, which is of Dragon Rays and Wind Element. 
The fusion materials needed to obtain it are a level 10 Green Petite, level 10 Dukabi, and level 10 Poison Spore. Unlocking this pet gives plus 1 Def and plus 20 max HP. Its offensive skill Dragon Breath deals fire element physical damage which has a 30% chance to inflict a burn effect to the target for 5 seconds. Having this pet by your side will increase your damage to dragon race monsters by 5%, which is perfect for farming in Glassheim outskirts. Another passive skill of this pet will increase your max HP by 1000 at max skill level. Sending Sky PT to Pet Adventure will decrease both the adventure time and battle time by 10% at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the item shop for plus 10% working efficiency. This is how a Sky Petite with level 10 intimacy will look like. Next, we have the Orc Lady which is of demi-human race and earth element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are a level 10 Orc Wire, level 10 Goblin Buckler, and a level 10 Whisper. Unlocking this pet gives plus 2 attack and plus 20 max HP. Its offensive skill Kiss of Death deals true damage which has a 20% chance to inflict the fear effect to the target for 3 seconds. Having this pet by your side will increase your crit death by 10 and resistance to trap and frozen effects by 10%. Sending the Orc Lady to Pet Adventure will increase the chance of getting normal materials by 11 each and quality materials by 6 each at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the arena for plus 5% working efficiency. This is how an Orc Lady with level 10 intimacy will look like. Last for the two star pets, we have the Scavenger Marlin, which is a brute race and earth element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are a level 10 Marmot and level 10 Mecha Hound. Unlocking this pet gives plus 80 max HP. Its offensive skill technology Hook Claw deals physical damage and grabs the target. Having this pet by your side will increase your magic damage reduction by 5% and int by 10 points. Sending Scavenger Martin to Pet Adventure increases the chance to receive an extra rare chest by 15% at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to Pet Association for plus 30% working efficiency. This is how a Scavenger Martin with level 10 intimacy will look like. Lastly, we have the free star pets which can also be obtained via pet fusion of 1 and 2 star pets. The first MVP monster that we can have as a pet is the Moonlight Flower which is of Demon Race and Fire Element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are a level 10 Deveruchi, level 10 Fairy, and level 10 Mecha Hound. Unlocking this pet gives plus 4 attack and plus 4 D max HP. Its offensive skill called Death Cyclone deals dark element magic damage which has a 30% chance to cause blindness and weakness effect to a target. This additional effect of Death Cyclone reduces the physical damage and magic damage by 20% for 10 seconds. When the passive skill Wild is at max skill level, Death Cyclone will have an increased chance to trigger that additional effect. Having this pet by your side will increase both physical and magic penetration by 2% at max skill level. Sending Moonlight Flower to Pet Adventure will increase the chance of getting a card in Adventure by 15% at max skill level, so this will be the best pet to have if you're aiming to unlock cards in Pet Adventure. As for Pet Labor, it is best to assign her to the Kafra Corporation for plus 40% working efficiency. This is how a Moonlight Flower with level 10 intimacy will look like. Another new 3 star pet is the Orc Maybe which is of demi-human race and earth element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are a level 10 Orc Choir and level 10 Orc Lady. Unlocking this pet gives plus 4 magic attack and plus 40 max HP. Its offensive skill called Roaring taunts the enemy units within 3 meters and provides its master 10% physical and magic damage reduction for 5 seconds. When a passive skill Innocent is at max skill level, Roaring will have an extra 10% damage reduction effect. Having this pet by your side will increase your max HP by 5% at max skill level. I think this pet will be really good for tanks and supports to boost their defensive abilities. Sending Orc Baby to Pet Adventure will increase the job experience gained in Adventure by 10% at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign it to the guild for plus 40% working efficiency. 
This is how an orc baby with level 10 intimacy will look like. Last for the tree star pets is the Highland Parasite which is a plant race and wind element. The fusion materials needed to obtain it are level 10 teddy bear and level 10 bone. Unlocking this pet gives plus 1 M def and plus 20 max HP. Its offensive skill called Rose Whip deals magic damage to a target that has a 20% chance to cause silence and trap effects for 3 seconds. It has a passive skill that increases Rose Whip's chance to inflict a silent state by 30%. Having this pet by your side will increase your magic damage reduction by 5%. Sending the Highland Parasite to Pet Adventure increases the chance of getting a card in Adventure by 10% at max skill level. As for pet labor, it is best to assign her to the Kafra Corporation for plus 40% working efficiency. This is how a Highland Parasite with level 10 intimacy will look like. Alright, so far we've gone through all the new pets coming in Episode 6. We've touched on where to find the new pets, what taming items to use, which fusion materials are needed, and their respective skills. I hope this video was helpful in helping you guys decide which new pet to take care of in this coming episode. Make sure to stay tuned for more episode 6 videos. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.